Cheers. Welcome to Coffee and Cleavage. Welcome. <laughs> so, deal breakers. Let's, deal breakers. Yeah, let's talk about what things are deal breakers in terms of like you just cannot live with these things if you're in a relationship or maybe they are red flags to you to not get in one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, so this is just like going in before you're even in a relationship with someone. Yeah. It's like straight up deal breakers right off the bat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, God, there's so many of them. <laughs> there is. There's so many things that can be deal breakers. Um, I know a big one for me would be someone that is friends with, like that has that they're friends with their exes or they're yeah. close to one ex. Yeah, I feel like being close to one ex would be like even more kind of just weird to navigate. Concerning, yeah. yeah, concerning than than like casual friends with all of them. I think like casual friends with all of them I could live with, but if you're like best friends with your ex, yeah, that's weird. Um, mm -mm. No, I don't know. no, yeah, I'm not trying to be a third wheel. No, no, <laughs> exactly. I understand. You know, there's people in relationships that have you know, kids with their ex and that's different. They have to maintain that relationship that's, with that's them. That's a way different scenario. Totally. Like being civil and friends when you have like a family dynamic. Yeah. But if you're single mm -hmm. and you're best friends with your ex, mm -hmm. uh, mm, that's going to be like a flag for me. Yeah. I would say red yeah. flag. Yep. Red flag, deal breaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, God, what are some other good ones? I've, well, not good ones, but you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like uh -huh. people that want different things, and mm -hmm. I think that usually this isn't – sometimes it might be a like a red flag in the beginning, but a lot of people might ignore it. It might be more of a deal breaker once you're in a relationship when you realize that you want different things, yeah. things that you're not willing to negotiate with. Mm -hmm. You know, like That's maybe a big one. one person doesn't want kids mm -hmm. and one person does. Yeah. You might have different religious beliefs. That's a big one. Or maybe even just different values. Mm -hmm. Some things bother you that don't bother them that you can't see eye to eye on. Yeah. And I feel like in those cases, you might just say like, okay, yeah, this, this is not what I want. And you might you know try it. Want. Yeah, you might try it. And then you're, I mean, because I've had that situation before. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Like where you wanted one thing and the other person wanted something else? Well, more of my ex wanted, like he was super, super religious. Yeah. Mm hmm. And, and so he wanted, did I you tried. Want to like conform to his beliefs? Yes. Okay. And I tried. I mean, I was. I was on the same page of what I believed, but to that level mm -hmm. of being like that extreme, like, like that was like not extremely me. Extremely committed yeah. to, to it. Yeah. And when you try to be who you're not for someone else and you're trying, you end up not being happy. Well, you're, you're not being authentic. You're not being authentic. Yeah. You're not being who you truly are. Yeah. And you're trying, but you're not, even if you're like, you're trying, but you're not pleasing them. You know what I mean? Because you're not. Still at that same level. Yeah. You I feel like at the end it. of the day, you have to be happy with yeah. what it is that you do and your mm -hmm. choices and your life. And if yeah. you're doing something just to make somebody else happy, yeah. you're probably not going to feel very fulfilled. Exactly. Yeah. Re I feel That's like religion a is a big one. Yeah. Religion and kids. Like, mm -hmm. I know so many people who are like, I don't want to have kids at all, but they're with a partner who really want them. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they think that in the beginning, like, this is something maybe they'll think about later, but then they end up feeling like, no, that's not what I want at all. Yeah. Well, then at that point, it seems like, you know, the responsible thing to do is to just accept, like, that it just doesn't work. Yeah, exactly. You know, the, the wants are just too different. Yeah. I mean, if you can't come to terms with compromising together on it, then... Yeah, if it's know? not if it's not a compromisable situation, mm -hmm. then what's the point? That's a deal breaker. You know? <laughs> then it's a yeah, deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. I feel like another big one is anger. Anger, yeah. Anger yeah. issues, controlling. Controlling's a big one. Mm -hmm. And... Anchor issues could be a red flag or it could be something that develops later on in a relationship that you're like, okay, this is a deal breaker. That's true because you may not see anger right in the beginning. No, I mean, everything's peaches yeah. in the beginning of Right in the beginning be a turn off. Right? Like, oh, this guy's a dick, you know? Yeah. That's another one too. Being, being a dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
some guys think being a dick is cool, you know, to impress the girl. They come off like they're... Like they don't need them or they don't want them or yeah. they're unbothered. Yeah. I think that's that's a huge deal breaker. I feel like that's a turn off for me. That's a big turn off. It is a turn off. Yeah. So it probably would be like a red flag. Like, okay, well, I'm not actually interested in this person mm-hmm. because they're, you know, a little too arrogant or cocky or oh, yeah. passive aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> passive aggressive is another one. Big time. <laughs> and abuse like, mm-hmm. is just like a zero, zero, zero tolerance. tolerance on that one. Yeah. For guys and ladies, because it does happen both ways. Yes, it does. It does. That's true. Yeah. Women can be abusive too. Very, mentally. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. Mentally and physically. Mm-hmm. I've, yeah. I've actually yeah. known women that have, you know, physically abused their partners mm-hmm. and the guy just put up with it, you know? And it's like... Yeah, those are definitely deal breakers. Uh, someone that is very insecure. That's a big one. It is. Mm-hmm. And, you know. I mean, we people, all have insecurities. We all have insecurities. We do. Definitely have insecurities. Yeah. But when they're so present that they're like at the front of the room for everything mm-hmm. or neediness or, you know, their decisions or your guys' lives are impacted by the insecurities. Yeah. Then for me, that's when it's a problem. Oh, definitely. And yeah. it, it starts to kind of chip away at, at you too. It does. Yeah. Well, I mean, insec- when insecurity you think okay so many things fall into place after that when someone's insecure they might feel like more controlling toward the person or very jealous or yeah, you know controlling mm-hmm. i mean I, I think that jealousy is also natural to an extent as yeah. well everything within moderation i think that as humans we we do feel like oh you know we we t- 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 tend to like internalize a lot of things yeah like oh they're looking at this person or they're appreciating that person like why don't they appreciate me but then that leads back to just more insecurity yeah I mean you're right everyone has a little bit of jealousy in them I think it'd kind of be not normal not to you know but I'm talking about the level of Oh my God, why are you wearing those pants to the gym? They're so oh tight God. on your ass. Never Verbal been in abuse. a controlling relationship where oh. they've like told you, you know, because they don't like other people looking oh, at you. Yeah, like, that's a whole other level. That mm-hmm. That is, that's, yeah. No, yeah. I mean, I have been in controlling relationships where I, you know, I wasn't supposed to really have friends or I'd be cut off from, mm-hmm. you know, reaching out to support. So controlling in that way. And yeah, only wanting to be theirs yeah. type of feeling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I definitely get what you mean. That's yeah, that's more possessive. Dangerous, toxic. Yep. yep. That would definitely be a deal breaker. But yeah. I'll be honest, those are the hardest relationships to get out of. They are. Because when you're in them and you believe the things that you're told, mm-hmm. you're kind of almost like brainwashed mm-hmm. to accept that type of behavior. And it's really hard to break out of. I know people are always like, well, why don't people just leave bad relationships? It's not that easy. It's because it's not that easy. Yeah, it easier really said is. than done. It's easy when you're looking at somebody else mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, well, that seems easy. You should just leave, mm-hmm. you know? But then when you're actually in it yourself, it's way more complicated. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It is. So although that these are deal breakers, we're not saying that <laughs> there is some like simple like, oh, okay, like I'm done. Some people yeah. are like that. Some people are super forward and direct and other people are not as direct and they might have problems communicating, which might be one of the other deal breakers. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a big one, communication. Someone that can't, you know, fully communicate with you. Say that's what huge. they mean, mm-hmm. mean what they say. Yeah, the mind Or games. don't say anything at all. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a rough one. Yeah. It's like yeah. you're just constantly wondering, like, what the hell are they thinking because mm-hmm. they're not saying anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, that's a big one. Trust is another. Trust I mean, is another one, one, obviously. That's like a... <laughs> That one will just tear apart an yeah. existing relationship. If you don't trust someone mm-hmm. fully and you're, you know, constantly contemplating what they may or may not be doing, that is going to wear you down. Yes. It'll make you crazy. There, it will make you feel crazy. Mm-hmm. You will question everything. Mm-hmm. And 
eventually, if not, you know, resolved, it definitely will end to lead to the end of a relationship. Yeah. Because it without trust, like then you have nothing. What the fuck is there? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. You really just don't have much if you can't trust the person that you're with. Absolutely. I mean, and you may go through times where you don't trust, but then you learn to trust and then you you're good. But then sometimes people just fuck up again. And then that's that should be a thing too, is how many times do you give that person a chance before it is, you know, before the a deal, deal breaker, breaker for you is <laughs> on everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's hard. And I feel like that's just going to come down to situational. Mm -hmm. And also the past. I feel like people's past, definitely whether we want to acknowledge it or not, it definitely impacts the decisions we make and what our tolerance is. So if you've dealt with a lot of this shit before, when you deal with it, you might say, no, 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 right away. Mm -hmm. Because it's like red flag. No, this isn't okay. I know this doesn't work. Yeah. Let's call it quits. Yep. But maybe if you haven't experienced that and you get kind of like tunneled into this experience, you might put up with things longer than the person who had already experienced it. That's very true. You know, if someone was with someone who was an alcoholic and then they went through this awful relationship and then the next person they date, they see the same kind of patterns or like, oh, hell no, bend down that route. Like (laughs) red flag. Deal breaker right away. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that our experiences are there for that. Yeah. I mean, they really do kind of shape us. They do. I'm not saying pain or, you know, bad experiences are a necessity for life, but they definitely help us learn what is okay to accept and what is not okay. Mm Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So another deal breaker, I feel, is if you are a secret. Oh. And this can play out in, like, so many different ways depending on the type of relationship that you have but if you're a secret and the person that you're with is kind of hiding you from people that they care about you know whether it's because it's an affair or maybe they're just sheltering you it just makes you wonder like are you really that important to this person if this person wants to keep you you know, yeah, hidden either for controlling purposes or shame, or is there something else that they're not telling you? That's a big one. That's huge. I mean, that falls into trust as well. It but does. If yeah. You're a, if you're a secret, mm, yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unless you're like a mistress and you know you are. You know what I mean? And you're right. okay and with if it. You're okay with it. Yeah. That's way but different than if you feel because if you feel like a secret, I feel like that's different than if you're just, you know, having an affair with someone, you're fully aware of that. Yeah, you're fully aware you're a secret. You don't feel mm-hmm. like hidden or dirty or something. Yeah. Or maybe you do and you like it. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I've never been a mistress before. No, me either. <laughs> I know, definitely know people that have. And, um, you know, like, I think every situation is just different. But like you said, if you're feeling like a secret, they don't want to tell their family about you or... or they don't want to introduce you to their family. Or their friends. Like, yeah. that's that's Or huge. they don't want to meet your family. yeah. That's another yeah, one. That's another one. That's another one that I feel like that's a red flag. Mm-hmm. Like maybe you don't break up with somebody because they don't want to meet your family, <laughs> you know, but maybe you're going to like make a mental yeah. red flag of that. Like, hmm, something seems a little off, mm-hmm. you know, to be so disinterested or unconnected. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. No desire. There. Yeah. There's got to be like a time for that too, I'm sure. Yeah, and, like, what is the time on relationships? You know, some people will invest their entire lives seeing all these flags and just keep going at it and Mm -hmm. going at it, Mm -hmm. you know? And other people see it and they're like, chapter. Yep. And And cut it out, done. (laughs) Any red flags, too many deal breakers. Those are, like, the big ones. Yeah, if you guys have any, drop them down in the comments. Um, You know, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah, it's, it's interesting to read what you guys, what you guys say back to us, and what you know, what your opinion are on these topics. And I feel like what our deal breakers for men and women too are going to be different, and mm-hmm. obviously for individuals as well. Yeah, but you know, I've read some of like the consensus of men ones, and they were really similar to the female ones. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, yeah, talk about their ex too much. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that means you're not over them. <laughs> so it's funny that a man will say like, oh. 
you know, I don't want the girl to talk about the ex, but then the girl will say, I don't want the guy to be friends with the ex. Yeah. That so is, it's kind yeah. of the same problem. Mm-hmm. Um, but sometimes men don't see that. Like they're like, oh, well, there's harmless. Me and my ex are just friends. You know, there's nothing. I'm not into them anymore. We're just friends, you know? I mean, because at one point there was chemistry between them two. It is still just, it's a connection. It's a connection. Yeah. And Mm -hmm. maybe that's more complicated if they were friends first. Yeah. Yeah. Like, were they friends first and then they dated and it didn't work, so they went back to being friends? Or were they just dating and then they decided they still wanted to have each other in their lives? So it's like, it gets really kind of complicated. It does. But the perspective that I was reading from, from men is like, just don't talk about your ex. Yeah. You know, which yeah. which I get. Like, imagine you're going out on a first date and all your date does is talk about their ex. You're, you're probably going to be pretty like, turned you, off. You're still in flag. love with your ex. So, okay, why, why are, are we, we here? here? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Why the hell are we on a date if all you're going to do is talk about your ex? But maybe they really aren't over their ex and they're just trying to move on. You yeah. Know, a lot of people. They're venting to you. Yes. Yeah. And you feel like if you're more of their counselor, their their therapist, just dumping. Yeah, you're like, okay, yeah, not not Exit your stage left here. <laughs> One is that's a deal breaker or a red flag, both is. If they're never there for you when you actually need them, that's a big one. Like something's going on in your life to where you need that support, or you're reaching out to them and they're just not there for Mm -hmm. you physically, emotionally, whatever it is that they're just, you know, that's a huge one. And there's actually been a lot of, um, you know, people break up over that stuff. Like if there's, you lose someone there's a death in your family and that person doesn't know how to be there for you emotionally because some people don't know how to be or how to they They don't don't know how to act they don't emotional disconnect Mm -hmm. some other ones that i thought were interesting were like bad sex oh yeah yeah that's that can be a deal i mean sex can get better though if it's bad people can improve it but i mean if you try try and it's still bad then yeah maybe people are just like tallying up the reasons (sighs) don't take care of themselves anymore Mm -hmm. bad with money bad sex yeah yeah those are all (laughs) i feel like sometimes women are a little harsher on 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 the bad Mm -hmm. to like point out the negative a lot yeah you know yeah higher Mm -hmm. expectations i guess or just i don't know i guess just depends on the person (laughs) cheers cheers